The Flying Drone Toolkit for Unity has been expanded for version 2.0 to support virtual reality, in particular the Oculus Rift CV1. In this video, I will show how any Unity 3D environment can be turned into a VR drone experience with just a few minutes of setup. There are just five simple steps. First, Set up a Unity project with the 3D environment of your choice. This can be an environment purchased from the Unity Asset Store or one that you create yourself. As an example, we will use Dark City from Manufacturer K4. Step 1. Configure your project to support VR. This is done by selecting Project Settings Player and clicking the Virtual Reality Supported box. Step 2. Configure the control axes. The easiest way to do this is to copy the InputManager.Asset file from a project where the Flying Drone Toolkit is installed and pasting the copy into the Project Settings folder of the new project. However, don't do this if you have already defined custom axes. Make sure that the type of each of the five drone axes is joystick axis. Step 3. Import the Flying Drone VR Unity package which comes with the Flying Drone Toolkit. You can simply double click on the file and then click Import on the resulting dialog. Step 4. Disable any cameras that are already in your scene, because we will be adding our own camera. Step 5. Add a VR drone to your scene. Here you have a couple of choices that are described in more detail in the toolkit documentation. The easier option is to simply use a prefab that includes one of the drone models included with the toolkit. However, it is also possible to use third-party drone models that you may purchase from the asset store or create yourself. In this case, we will use the drone pack from Conefin, which has several nice drone models. Look in the Flying Drone Toolkit prefab folder and find the FD third-party quadcopter VR prefab. Copy it to your scene. Expand the prefab to display its several levels. Choose one of the drone prefabs from the drone pack and add it under the adapter. Note that in the third-party quadcopter holder, the third-party drone script has four slots for rotating blades. Expand the drone model and note the corresponding rotors. Add the rotors to the slots in the obvious way. You can also add a sound clip to the third-party quadcopter. This adapter layer is intended to make changes between the parameters of the third-party drone and toolkit. In this case, change rotation Y to 90. This orients the drone in the correct direction. Also, change the scale values to 0 0.025, or else the drone is much too big for this environment. Different drone movements have been assigned to controls on the Xbox controller. The drone is moved forward and backwards by moving the left stick forward and back. The drone rotates by moving the right stick side to side. The D-pad is used to increase and decrease the altitude of the drone and to strafe from side to side. Finally, the left trigger is used as an accelerator 
to make any of the other motions faster. We are now ready to try the drone VR experience, so I will put on the headset. Okay, so now I can see the drone very, very well in this environment. It, it looks great. I can look all around, start, start flying forward, go faster. This environment really looks great. Turn in a circle. Now we see some interesting things. There's a level of detail setting, which means that as we get closer, more details appear, more uh, items on the street and so forth. Circle around, can go up. Train just went by. This is really an incredible environment. There are some things flying around up there, some, some spaceships. I can explore it in this drone. I can see everything in a way that I could not possibly see it, just on, on the flat screen. Now the frame rate is a little bit slow on this. Even uh, with an Oculus Ready PC, the frame rate is about 50 frames per second, which accounts for a little bit of jumpiness. And I believe that if the environment, some of the materials and things were simplified a little bit, then the frame rate could go up. But this shows what's possible, and it's really very, actually very relaxing and a lot of fun to cruise around this virtual environment and see what it's like and it only took a few minutes to set this up in, in unity here i'm gonna go back again to street level better move over a little bit or so i don't hit the tracks go back down and we can get it street level cruise around take a good look at this environment and just imagine if there were people here so you can easily do this with the environment of your choice this was just one that I happened to like from the looking at it in the asset store please contact us with any questions about the VR enabled flying drone toolkit and also with ideas and requests for future features